Hello and welcome to the Radio Silly Video News. Sign up to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Radio Silly for updates on what's happening around the islands and video reports featuring the people and places you know. Our video report is brought to you in association with Truro and Penwith College. Read about courses and opportunities online and watch the building of the new Penwith campus at truro-penwith.ac.uk. Sign up to the Silly Lottery and you've a 1 in 2,000 chance of winning £1,000. You can play if you live on the mainland. It helps keep Radio Silly on air and funds good courses around the islands. Read more at sillylottery.com. The Silly Lottery. The Silly Lottery.com. Silly's Member of Parliament has been explaining why he thinks his majority was so drastically reduced from 11,900 to 1,700 voters. Andrew George says the media hype surrounding expenses on what he claims are unfair accusations levelled at him and his family will have played to some wavering voters. He also claims there were scare tactics by Conservatives, which suggested that voting for the Liberal Democrats would mean a vote for Gordon Brown in coalition. And closer to home, he says removing Hale from the constituency of St Ives brought a loss of votes for him. There have been disagreements between our Member of Parliament and the Council here in Scilly. The public arguments around disagreements over Andrew George's preference of the so-called Option C for the Route Partnership Plan. He said in a public meeting at the Old Wesleyan Chapel he preferred the Long Rock Container Port idea, although he qualified that by saying that he wouldn't back an option that would be more expensive for Scilly. That led to accusations that he wasn't representing Islanders' interests, and the Council went to the extreme level of informing Labour ministers that he may not be wholly representative of Islanders' views in any meetings about the project. Andrew says now he's been re-elected, though, he'll continue to work with the Council. I'll continue fighting for uh, for the islands and uh, working with the council where they wish to uh, work with me. But uh, above all, I, I work for for all constituents as the local member of parliament. And if that puts me occasionally in dispute or disagreement with any any agency, authority, or other body, then um, well, that so be it. You know, these things are, are part of uh, are, you know part of political life, aren't they? That. Uh, not everyone agrees all the time, and, um, and, and there are occasions, of course, when uh, the Council of the Isles of Scilly and I uh, don't see eye to eye. I would say the, the majority of occasions we do, and, uh, and work together very, very, very well. But above all, I, I put my constituents first, and I can't, uh, I'm, I'm not there as an agent for the Council.